Hari Chams. My name is Boys and People. Today I'm going to take you through three excellent resources that allow you to uh, write a pain free CSS3. We all know uh, writing CSS3 at times can be a real pain. Mm, we, we know that we need to many a times add vendor prefixes like uh, dash 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 ms dash dash uh, webkit dash um, dash uh, mouse dash etc but uh, we have certain online tools that actually allow you to write your CSS prefix free you know you don't need to prefix uh, the code with the vendor prefixes always in fact you don't need to uh, add the vendor prefixes at all just go uh, prefix free so how do you do that uh, I'm gonna show you three URLs I'm gonna take you through three URLs which I find um, excellent you know and they e even optimize your CSS and we'll soon see what I mean by that <coughs> the first one is this URL prefixer without an e dot com forward slash index dot PHP by net touch plus what you need to do out here in the uh, window out here the window the pane the panel out here the white panel you just need to um, let's say drop your CSS whatever CSS you have in the uh, external style sheet or maybe in the opening and the closing style tags you just need to um, copy and paste it out here for example if I paste uh, you know these couple of lines out here you see opacity is a CSS3 property so is transition let's say I have a very small uh, style sheet which just includes these two lines and I want it to be you know compliant with <coughs> Uh, it should be uh, cross browser compliant you know so all I need to do is just go out here and hit the prefix size button you see there are certain options out here that you can uh, add or keep them out okay by default add line break after CSS3 properties is checked on okay there's another uh, useful option which says compress my code so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the prefix size button notice so that uh, after a while very appropriately wherever it is needed we have the vendor prefixes so dash webkit dash transition mouse dash o dash ms dash etc etc and this is the plain vanilla uh, transition statement so this is the opacity um, declaration people that I started off with and we have two more lines out here dash ms dash filter and plain filter and all the code has been inserted wherever it was appropriately needed how very wonderful then you can take this code back and push it back uh, <coughs> into your style sheet and uh, you know do away with the uh, one that was prefix free so you write your code first prefix free and you come out here change it and take it back and uh, before you you are actually taking it what you can do it you can even compress your code now that will um, ensure that the server load is actually reduced your web pages will load faster when you hit the compress my code button and hit the prefix size button what's gonna happen is gonna remove the white space people see and that helps to reduce the load on the server now you can take this code back and push it into your style sheet it's been compressed right so <clears throat> also note that there are certain options like you can exclude the vendor prefixes or you can exclude specific vendor prefixes I don't know why you would want to do that though but if for any reason you would want to uh, do away with certain vendor prefixes let's say for Opera or for IE or for Mozilla or whatever you can actually come out here and do that but I would advise you not to touch it uh, just use the prefix size button and the compress my code button right and this uh, by default is always on which is uh, good enough right let's uh, touch upon another uh, important resource people I'm gonna pronounce it simply because of uh, fear of uh, going wrong in my pronunciation now, again you can uh, write your CSS prefix free you know but there are certain rules that you need to adhere to you see you can download a JS file out here y you know it requires a JavaScript file people that you need to link up if you see uh, how to use you see when you click the uh, you know the download now button you click to download this file <coughs> barely 2 KBs uh, 
uh, what you need to do is you just need to include the prefix free.js anywhere in, uh, on your uh, web page but it is recommended to use it right after the style sheets to minimize f-o-u-c that's it you are done it's so easy so basically you are depending on a javascript file to write your css code free <coughs> though uh, it has certain features and some limitations you should go through this literature people features are uh, that it processes your style sheets in the link tag or in the style tags elements uh, and adds window prefixes wherever they are actually needed. Please go through this literature people. Please go through the limitations too and I would also suggest that you go through the browser support. i9 plus, Opera 10 plus, Firefox 3.5 plus, Safari 4 plus and Chrome. That's on the desktop platform <coughs> and uh, mobile Safari, Android uh, Safari, Chrome and Opera mobile. So this um, URL is again uh, amazing, it's useful and we have to depend on a prefix free.js file that we can download after clicking on this link. Awesome. But as I said go through the limitations. Go through the features and the demo too. Right. And uh, another uh, online editor that I really love working with uh, is codepen.io right you see you can write your HTML out it's an online editor people uh, you can write your HTML in the HTML pane your CSS in the CSS pane and your JavaScript or jQuery in the JS pane but you see in the CSS settings I have an option to automatically add the reset rule without even needing to do so manually and go prefix free basically not add the vendor prefixes by simply ch checking on this uh, you know this uh, option prefix free and this radio button reset so I was actually testing something and I made sure that I don't need to include the uh, prefixes vendor prefixes so I check this box on and this radio button on right and then whatever code I was writing you see I'm, I'm using the CSS3 box shadow property I have not included uh, the vendor prefixes or for the or the transform property I was not needed to do I, I, I'm not needed to do so simply because I've checked the option on here and I'm using the reset rule simply by clicking on this uh, radio button right amazing so people uh, three very useful resources uh, that I use a lot and I suggest you use it too uh, after obviously going through some limitations as in this case alright people so uh, I hope you found this information useful you have a good day bye bye peace